week it's one year that we've been living in this uh, this current van it's not one year of uh, van life though because we uh, we have had uh, a spell before as a couple which were about what four five months four months four months yeah and then uh, I did it myself for uh, probably about nine months back in 2013 so you could say I've done about I've done over slightly over two years myself anyway uh, as I said on the uh, video before, if you, you, know, you know, give me some questions, uh, I'll answer them. Uh, I only got nine. I'm quite disappointed. <laughs> but uh, right, let's have a look. What we've we got here? Uh, retro renovations. Uh, nice meeting you at Camp Quirky. Uh, oh, you haven't actually asked the question there. I'm just uh, so, but yeah, yeah. Nice meeting you too. Uh, Woolly Cod Wanderers, uh, Jane and uh, Graham. Graham. Yeah, I am, I am bad at names. I think I've uh, I I think I mentioned John, that right. before. But uh, yeah, nice meeting you again. And uh, that van's really coming along now. So what do you ask? Uh, what are the best things about living in a van full time? Uh, don't have to pay rent. You don't have to pay rent. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, no rent. Oh, council tax. Uh, you can get rid of your neighbours by just moving. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, <clears throat> I say if you you're renting in a bit of a naff area and uh, you get some muppet who likes his music next to you, and trust me, we've had that before. Uh, it's it, it's good. Oh, you just move, you move on, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, the freedom really. Uh, yeah. Well, semi freedom because we're kind of like stuck in the city, but it's nice to get away when we've got the freedom. Uh, who's next? Island. Uh, Explore. Explore. Oh, right, yeah, another uh, Camp Quirky uh, uh, couple we met. Uh, yeah, nice meeting you. Uh, so, what have we got here? Uh, what have you learned in the past year that you wish you knew before you started? Well, I've done it. I've I've had a spell before, like I said, a few years ago, so what can you answer that bit? Actually, no. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't think we've learned anything new. Or would do anything new. Well, I haven't personally, not in last year, not not this year, uh, because you know we've mm. we have had a spell before. Uh, probably with build, you know. Uh, I think we'd actually, yeah. I think we'd probably leave it more time to do that. Yeah, so there's more time to prepare it all instead of like doing the semi build of it and then moving into it and mm. then finishing the rest of it as we're going along. I think we should have completed it first before. We yeah, okay, we're a bit of a bit of a rush job. Uh, Basically, uh, you uh, have to build the bed in the kitchen really quick. I had four weeks in a, you know, mm -hmm. I give notice on property. And actually, it's getting back into van life. It were kind of uh, uh, a spur at moment th uh, thing, really, wasn't it? Um, yeah. I, uh, I got I, I got accepted on fine. As you do, I'm just sat there on computer. You know what? I'm going to try this, and it says like, "Oh, you've been approved," and it like so. So I, I, I Camp like, van. discuss it with you. <laughs> said, "Shall we go ahead with it?" You know, that's you know go back into it because uh as last uh as last spell uh we was in a in a what were it a Reynolds master wasn't it a, yeah a an ex, minibus. Uh, no with an ambulance support um, yeah ex ambulance but com it were a, you know it'd been converted and uh oh, it was like a greenhouse that it really too was. many windows oh yeah it really, i don't think i'd go for a, a, a van with so many windows again but the only reason why we came out of that at the time i got offered this job uh driving a seven and a half tonner which involved doing nights out now three nights a week uh yeah uh i didn't end up staying with that job in end because they were down in london and they were just asking at last minute you know oh you're staying out tonight but uh yeah, uh, Sarah don't drive, so uh, obviously you know. And I wouldn't stay in the van on my own. You no, know, you don't no, feel comfortable. She don't. I mean, probably even now you don't. You know, you wouldn't feel comfortable on your on your own overnight, would you? Somewhere. No, probably. If I were no. elsewhere. No. No. So you know, we came out of van life then and moved into a, a shared property, uh, which wasn't particularly that good for us because we were thought, well, we didn't really want to prop, you know, rent a full place because it was got the added bills, but. Uh, yeah, we, we missed it when we came out, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. we did actually. Who's we next? Were moving back into an house. Silver Van Man, hiya. Uh, my question is, what's been the most difficult thing to get used to being out of sticks uh, and bricks? Bathroom. <laughs> I found that hard with showers and... Yeah, but I, well, because... 
because we knew from... That's the only thing that I miss out yeah. of the house, is the bathroom. Bathroom, I'm going to... It's steaming up in here, we've had Birkin butters and uh, it's steaming up and anybody walking past it we're up to something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me, myself, uh, as a 60... Is it 60 inch or is it 50 inch TV we've got in storage, TV. yeah. Uh, uh, I sort of like miss that aspect and, and just sort of like chilling out on a sofa, you know. Uh, I mean, these days now, a good day out to us is going to DFS and just laying on sofas. <laughs> what we haven't done yet. <laughs> no, we haven't, no, but a good idea, <laughs> wasn't it? You know, we just uh, sit there and chill out. Uh, but yeah, just a TV with me because I'm, I'm, I knew what we were getting into, you know what I mean? Of going to, back to what yeah. I said before, you know, with having that, like, you know, year experience of it myself so uh, I only miss the TV yeah and so far. Uh, Sharon O'Neill is that? I'm, yeah. I need some glasses I'm telling you. Well, I've got some on some. Uh, hiya. Right. Uh, At what stage did you chill and start to relax into van life and not be worried about where where to park up and what about emptying, emptying the loo? Um, well, the loo is actually Chris's job, <laughs> yeah. which technically he still stresses over every now and again. Well, actually, you still stress of finding somewhere to park yeah, sometimes. To, to, not to do. To, no, oh, right, I thought you meant to empty yeah, the loo. Both. Yeah, both. Sometimes no, you have both. I don't. I don't stress as a loo before. You do when people are and you're trying to empty it and people are that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I was going to say since we put it under the uh, uh, sink unit. Yeah, it's been yeah, easy it's to get out. Yeah. Why I stress before is because we had to get it out of the cupboard and then I'm fa battling to move stuff out of way so it was kind of like uh, irritating yeah. and I'll probably do... Uh, but you do stress about trying to find somewhere to park. easily. Uh, but no, this is a lot easier. Yeah, parking. Yeah, the toilet is, yeah. But you do stress about finding the place. But we if your spot that, we've, we've got so many oh, spots yeah. and if that spot that yeah. you particularly want that day, yeah. that's not there, you start stressing. Yeah, you see, because we've we've got so many spots basically, and we, we kind of like you know stick to uh, two areas, don't it we? It also depends on the times that I start in the morning of where we park. Yeah. Because if I'm doing an early start, then we've got to be local where. Yeah. I can get to work. You see, you can't. I don't know uh, urban camping and that. You know, I think well to me, I I am quite you know selective uh, mm. because. Uh, I don't want to go and park on a on, on an housing estate, you know. Uh, you just got people walking by, kids and stuff like that, haven't you? So yeah. you know, uh, you know, we have a, a canal park up, industrial uh, Asta area. Park up. <laughs> Asta park up, yeah. Which uh, we haven't done it yet, but obviously uh, Asta's handy because it's got a twenty-four hour loo if you need it, you know. Ah, but technically it isn't open on a Sundays, twenty-four hours. Well, no, it ain't, no, no. Uh, so you can't park there on a Sunday. Yeah. Uh, but on about is in relaxing, you know, it's in park ups. I uh, once we park up, we're chilled. It's yeah. like, but you, as you said, and I've said, yeah, if we go to the coast, I'm chilled totally. You know, yeah, yeah, that's when you don't yeah. worry about stressing. No, I can relax. I can park up places. I can relax because when when you're at the coast and that, uh, if you open the door, someone sees it's obviously a, you know a camper van because it's not quite obvious from outside the way I like it. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, they look, but you know they're not going to think, oh god, it's weird. You mm. know, is, 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 is you know living in that or staying in that? You know, so you, you, it's acceptable at the coast. You yeah, know? it is. So I can, I, I do feel relaxed at the coast, and also it's less traffic. And yeah, but like I'm that, but... relaxed. I'm yeah. relaxed no matter where we park. I'm fine. You know, I'm, I'm... As long as I've got my computer, as long as I've got my phone. Yeah, I'm not. As long as I've got somewhere to sleep, I get bothered. Relaxing the leads, oh, as you as a... Well, uh, definitely more relaxed, of course. Right. Oh, Lou. Yeah. Uh, the emptying the loo. Uh, well, uh, we don't do the number twos. Uh, uh, we go to like McDonald's, you know, like Alistair and like you would do wherever if you were out and about. Uh, uh, but yeah, just uh, emptying the other uh, down the drain, basically. Uh, so, yeah. Well, that's if you can't find an empty loo place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, the canal thingy, though, that's got one of them. Uh, you can empty your waste in and all, actually. So. Yeah. Uh, who's next? Uh, project, project, oh, can't speak. Project, project Overlander. Overlander. Uh, what do you put? Uh, happy first anniversary, loving the hoodies. Yeah, oh, I had the hoodies. Uh, it, that was actually spare of the moment, getting was. the hoodies. He hadn't answered it. I know, but that was spare no. of the moment. We just, yeah. But we still want to do it was. design as well, and that yep. was just. 
I don't know if you can see this, but... Uh, we even got the cups. We even got some cups, <laughs> don't I know? Yeah, how sad is it? Uh, and then, uh, oh dear, our t-shirt, but it won't fit now because I wanted a t-shirt. No, you got the t-shirt, it won't fit you, so... Yeah. I claimed it for messing about him. Yeah, you go on, you read that one. David Egan, sorry if we've got that wrong. Have Your question is, have you got a longer term plan or just going to see how things pan out? Are you going to stay based in Yorkshire or travel elsewhere? Uh, we want to travel elsewhere. I'd yeah. probably travel elsewhere tomorrow if I could, but Sarah's... Uh, I need another year in my job just so that I've got more security. It's like a, a, a year, year in. sentence uh, for me. Being here. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we, we did plan these things. We, we, we wanted to do Cornwall, but we don't know if that's... No, we still want to do. I still want to do Cornwall. We've I still a, want to go down that area. We've done a road trip down there, you know. But I, yeah. I'd like to spell of uh, working, uh, maybe trying campsites. I uh, think I might mention. Well, that is his job, actually. That's what we want to aim for: is travelling, basically all of England, and working oh, different my, campsites over the years. That's kind of like my 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 dream is going around the coastline mm. of Britain, uh, avoiding the towns and cities. Oh, you're uh, mad at that. And uh, yeah, doing that one day, uh, that's what I would like to do, whether it'll, uh, it'll ever happen. Uh, you know, no, so I, I do say, and I've said it before to other people, you're only around once, so if you don't, you know, you, you can you can keep on saying, oh, you know, I'd like to do it, but then you get you could get to a certain age, or your health could, de you know, deteriorate, and, he, and, he, and, you know, and, he, and you're unable to do that, so. Uh, what else? Uh, what else we got? The, the Secret Hotel Inspector. I like that name. <laughs> <laughs> well done on living in the van a year. I would imagine one of the difficult things is trying to park the van overnight and not being disturbed and feeling safe. Is this proving a problem? No, we park where there's more... One of the spots is where there's quite a few vans, isn't there? Where oh yeah, in. yeah. So you kind of so like blend, yeah, you, you, you blend in and that lot, you know. As in feeling safe and that lot, you know. I put it this way: I say, good luck anybody who's <laughs> going to come up to the van and uh, you know, like try the doors and that lot, because they'll have a nasty shot when I jump out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but no, we feel safe where we park. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't I like say. we say, we don't park at pubs. No. We don't park in certain housing estates. No. Yeah. We really are careful where we park. And I don't feel disturbed. I might be mentally disturbed. <laughs> <Not on. laughs> no, we've had a few people where where we parked up and someone's come. Oh with yeah, the car is it disturbed? Play, yeah. yeah, yeah. Playing the music, but they don't do it all night. No, They're only yeah. there for me, if, maybe half an hour. If you're somewhere where you've got, you may be, uh, uh, you, you know, your chavvy sort of like, uh, you know, boy races, you know, where they think mm. it's fun to start doing handbrake turns and. Uh, well, I was in a, a particular spot up near Weatherby once, and uh, oh, yeah, yeah, he. Uh, I put up with it so long. I was sat in the van, and then he did one. He was with his mate, one in the car, yeah, and yeah. and he he got too close to the van. Well, that's it. I jumped out, and uh, came up, saying all that, but I kind of lost my rag with him. Uh, but yeah, yeah so, the other time we didn't feel safe. Yeah, the yeah, uh, but that was just you know what I mean. That was just juvenile, but he so and so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so if you're in somewhere like that and you know if someone packs up and they've got music blaring, and you think, oh, you know what? I tell you what, I'm just jump in, but I'm just going to move elsewhere. So yeah. Mm. And uh, who's the last one? Captain. Cap <laughs> Captain Dimba. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, do you remember that cartoon now, Captain Gaveman? Something like that. <laughs> yeah, it just reminds me of that. Uh, Question for you: What do you miss most from when you lived in your house? And uh, yet again, the bathroom. That's the only thing I miss about a house. Yeah, and, and like, uh, you know, I said a few minutes ago, where uh, for me, TV and maybe just, you know, uh, chilling on the sofa and that. Uh, I'm not worried I'm going to find somewhere to park. No, no. Though where we did live before, it was actually all right, wasn't it? Apart it from, well, when the I area was... was OK. The flat was cheap, bloody, well, it was bloody cold, wasn't it? Uh, winter, really. Yeah, it was. Well, put it this way, it's warmer in van. In yeah, winter than yeah. It, than that. it was. It wasn't uh, double glazed, and uh, oh, it was yeah, really. Right. So yeah, we, I mean, we didn't even. How long did we spend there? Now six months. If you know, six no, months. No, nearly. Well, but the area was months. okay. So you know, it was uh, probably one of the better areas we've ever lived in. Yeah, what a so. really good area. Yeah, and if at Carvery, I know, which we're just literally about stone throw away as well. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Oh, we've 
and that's it. We've done more questions. Like I said, I thought I might have got a few more questions. But uh, thanks for people who did uh, send me some questions. And uh, nice to meet the people who uh, saw at Camp Quirky. Uh, we enjoyed that weekend. Uh, after after Camp Quirky, we uh, we headed back to Leeds. Uh, well, and then well, was we like, was gonna head back. Well, this to is Leeds. what we were say. Yeah, it was like I don't want to go back. Let's go to Scarborough. <laughs> uh, and uh, we had a gorgeous two, two, were it two or three days there. Uh? Two days. Two, you, two days. It was really warm. Were it, or were it three nights? And then the third day it was I had a, a bit chilly. Yeah, because I had work uh, in uh, in Leeds, didn't I? And I, I you thought had to get the train I ended up getting train and, and then going back to Scarborough. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it was really gorgeous a uh, few days that. So, and then uh, it basically feels like back to normal. Now I've just got back from uh, uh, Venice, which uh, you. Anybody see me over a uh, video? And, uh, and I got stuck at home. She she was stuck at home. I, I went with my mother, and, uh, and Sarah couldn't get time off work. So uh, yeah, it feels like uh, back to norm now. Cause, well, we we had a week in Gibraltar, not a week, we were four we days four in Gibraltar. Nights in yeah, Gibraltar. my daughter got married, and uh, we went we shot over to mm. Gibraltar. Uh, our next holiday is August. Yeah, we get married in August, <laughs> and uh, is it an holiday? Is it, is it, don't call it in the morning. Well, it's honeymoon. It's an holiday. honeymoon after you get married. Yeah, we've got ten days over uh, near Malaga. Uh, I can't pronounce where it is. It's somewhere near Malaga, anyway. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. So, anyway, right, so catch you guys later. Uh, and uh, yeah, give it a thumbs up and uh, and share it if you like. Uh, okay, bye bye.